Hi and welcome to this video. I am Anis, a GMAT expert. I created this channel to help you ace the GMAT in the easiest way possible. In this channel, you will find strategies that are never shown elsewhere. These powerful strategies will help you solve difficult problems very quickly. I invite you to stay tuned till the end of this video. There is a special gift waiting for you. So, an object thrown directly upward is at a height of h feet after t seconds, where h is equal to minus 16 times t minus 3 to the power of 2 plus 150. So, here we have h is equal to minus 16 times t minus 3 square plus 150. So, here, uh, this equation uh, describes or give us information uh, about the height of the, this object in function of t. Uh, t is time. So, after 10 seconds, if I replace t by 10, I can compute the h, which is the height of this object. Easy. So, let's continue. At what height in feet is the object two seconds after it reaches its maximum height. So once this object reaches its maximum height, after two seconds, he is asking me to know the height of this object. But in this problem, I don't know the time when it reaches its maximum height because when I know the time when it reaches its maximum height I can add two seconds and then I replace it here and I can easily compute the height okay so now the question is he needs to know the time when the object reaches its maximum height so let's analyze this problem here we have an expression, we have a negative component here, negative component, and here we have a positive component, okay? So why this one is negative? Because t minus 3 to the power of 2 is positive, so this one is positive because every number uh, squared is positive. Now it is multiplied by minus 16. So it's minus 16 times this number. So a negative number multiplied by a positive number is definitely negative. So this component is uh, negative and this component is positive. Okay, so he is telling me he needs the maximum height. So I want to compute the maximum of this ex expression okay when we reach the maximum height is when the negative component is equal to zero because this is a negative component so this is this this is lower the height okay so i need the maximum height so i need to eliminate this negative component okay so what do i do to eliminate this negative component it's when t is equal to 3. So if t equal to 3, then I have 3 minus 3 squared times minus 16. So it's equal to 0 because 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 times 16 is equal to 0. So this is equal to 0. And then the maximum height is 150. So I eliminated the negative component because I want the maximum height. Okay. So we can see now that when t equal 3 we can reach the maximum height so but he wants the height after two seconds after it reaches its maximum height so he needs the height when t is equal to 5 so all we have to do all what we have to do now is to replace t by 5 and to calculate the h so h is equal minus 16 times 5 minus 3 square plus 150 
Okay, so h is equal to minus 16 times 5 times uh, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. So times 2 squared plus 150. So h is equal uh, minus 16 times 4. So it's minus 64 plus 150. So it's equal to 86. So it's answer B. Hope this explanation is clear. Thank you for watching this video. In order to help you ace the GMAT, I decided to offer you for free my ultimate GMAT probability course. You can find this course in the description of this video. Probability is one of the most important parts of the GMAT quant section. This part is very difficult and many students struggle with it. In this course, I will give you the best strategy to tackle any probability question and I will show you how to apply this strategy to more than 40 different practice questions. Once you finish this course, you'll be able to solve any probability questions that encounters you in the GMAT. First, I will introduce you to combinations, arrangements and permutations. Then we'll solve together more than 40 GMAT questions of different level of difficulty and I will show you step by step how to solve them in the simplest way possible. Once you master the methods I teach in this course, you'll be able, starting of tonight, to not only solve any GMAT probability problem, but also to solve them quickly and this will help you save a lot of time during the test. Click on the link in the description to get this unique free course.